for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do an oblique planes question. I've taken this question off the ordinary level paper off the old syllabus. So the old syllabus was actually taught, the exam paper was tougher than the new one. So a lot of the ordinary level papers can be used to teach higher level concepts. And that's why I picked this one. This type of question would typically be found on your higher level paper in section A, the short questions, or else in section B as well. There are also certain elements of it, like understanding the concept of what an oblique plane is, that you might use in section C. So the question here says, the elevation and plan of a square base solid, which is to be cut by an oblique plane, VTH, are shown in figure 5. And the first part of the question is going to ask you to draw the plan and elevation of the solid when it is cut by the oblique plane VTH. So we'll go out into our solid works model and we'll see what does that mean. So they want you to show this object here when it is cut by this pink plane that's in front of you. So if you look in at your elevation, this line you see is where the plane intersects with your horizontal plane. So if we go back to our, if we go back to our PowerPoint, you can see that's given by this line here. And then the bottom part is where that plane intersects your horizontal plane. So that's this line here. So we'll look down at it and plan as well. And using them lines as reference points, we should be able to find all the points where this object is cut and be able to draw the cut object in elevation, like so, and down in plan as well. So first of all, I'll show you how to set this question up. So the first thing that you're gonna do is just draw your X, Y line down the sheet, down the center of your page, and then next fill in the plan. Project all the lines from your plan up into your elevation and complete your elevation. The next thing you can do is draw in your two traces. Now, to find where this plane cuts the object, what we're going to do is we're going to take an auxiliary elevation looking up the direction that my mouse is pointing here. So up this way. So the auxiliary elevation, an, an auxiliary elevation is just an elevation taken at a different angle. So the one that we're going to look at is the one where we can see this plane as an edge view. And if we see that, it's going to show us exactly where it cuts this object as shown. So if we go into our PowerPoint, I'll show you how to do that. So, if all our first bits done, the next thing we do is we look up, we look up parallel with this line, this line HT here. So we're looking up this direction and that's where we project our lines. So project all our lines of parallel from that draw in our XY line, and then we're gonna just draw in our object. So as always, we're gonna take the height for here from our elevation. And because this is just an elevation viewed at a different angle, the heights are gonna be the same. So take our heights from here, uh, bring your lines across, and then you'll just be able to draw in the object. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to get, if I go out here, the next thing I want to do is just to get this plane drawn in. Where the line my mouse pointer is moving along now is your XY line in your auxiliary view. So. There's a method for doing this that you just have to learn off. So what you do is you take 
any point from your XY line. So we're right where my mouse pointer is, I'm taking that height and I'm just drawing a line straight up. Then I project where this line meets the XY line. I project that up into my auxiliary and I take that same height up here. So take that height and project it up. Then if I bring HT up, I can join where that hits the XY line to the top of my height M. And that gives me my edge view of the of the oblique plane. Now, this is going to give me all my points that I can project back down into plan. I've just hidden them lines so you can see this drawn clear. So the next thing that we do is we'll just label everything because this, this draw question will be a lot easier if you label it. It's something I'd really recommend with a lot of your drawn questions is that you just make sure to get your labeling right because it'll really help you. It'll just stop you from making mistakes unnecessarily because it'll just allow you to see what cuts what or help you reference lines from one view to another. So what we do is we take all the points here, here, here and here where these in where the plane cuts them and we'll bring them down into our plan like so. So we can see this line where the plane cuts our line OA we can bring down to where it crosses the line OA here as well. Similarly for the line BO, bring that down and that crosses BO here. This point here actually crosses two, through two lines. It crosses DC and it crosses BC. So you bring that down there and it's going to intersect at two points. So we can fill that in heavy then. And that's going to be our cut surface drawn and plan. The last thing you're going to do is you're going to project the lines from your plan up into your elevation. So we're ready to nearly complete our object but the last thing we need to get is the height up here on C because the only problem with this cut point here that you can see out in your auxiliary elevation is that if we bring that straight up it doesn't actually intersect this line because they're both parallel. So what you do is you take the height from your elevation, so I'll mark it in here, you take this height here, and because the same that's going to be the same height in your elevation as your auxiliary elevation, we can just step that same height up here. And that means we can just complete our elevation then. So you can see it joins to the top of this height. Part B of the question asks you to draw the true shape of the cut surface of the solid. So what that means is you're going to find the true shape of this object when it's cut. So what we're to get that, we're going to get this plane and in plan, we're going to flip it around so that we see the true shape where my mouse is here. And that'll look like so. So just flip it over and then we're going to see this true shape when we look straight down it. Because normally you can see by looking down it here you can't actually see the true shape of it. You'd have to look in at the side to see that. So to do that on the drawing sheet. You first of all just label all your points. All the corners of the cut. And label them up in this auxiliary view. And then we're going to rotate them down onto the onto the horizontal plane as shown here bring your line straight down and then in this plan they're going to move perpendicular to your th so you bring them out like show as shown so then you just follow out point for example point five comes out this direction and if you follow it up around here, you go up and around and down here. And that'll give you your point 0.5 in this new view. So that's how you do part B of the question. Thanks for watching the tutorial.